Okay, this video is about blank computer screens. Let's say your computer is on, but you don't have anything on your screen. So, uh, and if you haven't done anything really weird to it, um, bash it or, or got some serious viruses, uh, this is probably a fix that you can do. Uh, you need to open up your computer and what you need to do is short out the motherboard. So in order to do that, um, you need to uh, uh, remove a pin and uh, uh, short the pins. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, uh, cut the power. So unplug it, just in case your power bar uh, is on or whatever. Okay, then you need to remove the uh, cover on the case. So first take the screws off. So like one there and one there. and remove the cover uh, before you touch anything on the computer on the inside because you have a lot of uh, sensitive uh, parts uh, things like these chips here they're very sensitive to static electricity and because your hands could carry some static electricity from clothes uh, you need to remove that uh, static so what you do is you touch anything that's bare metal. So you can uh, say just touch the computer case uh, any, or anything else that's uh, bare metal and that should remove the static from your fingers. Okay, now if you're new to this, when you open up your computer, uh, you'll see a whole jumble of mess in there. So it could be uh, overwhelming at first, but uh, we'll just focus on this one little pin that we have to short. So what you need to do is find first find the battery, that round disc right there. So and close to the battery, there should be like uh, three pins, and two of the pins are covered by one plastic uh, sleeve. And in, and uh, usually that pin is called JP1. And this this is an older motherboard, but uh, the idea is the same. And in uh, in this case, the pin is right here. Now usually you'll find the pins probably uh, maybe that far away from the uh, battery, but it uh, doesn't matter. So what you need to do, because there's three pins, right now it's set to pins or jumper pins one and two. And to short this, you need to remove Remove that plug and then put it on to uh, two and three. And you wait 30 seconds. Okay, so now that you waited uh, 30 seconds, you want to take that uh, plug and put it back onto pins uh, one and two. So pretty much uh, that's it for shorting the motherboard. Now what this does to the motherboard is it sort of uh, resets the, uh, uh, the settings on the motherboard. So you would have to go back, once you turn the computer back on, you need to go into the setup and then do a few uh, uh, setups like setting up the CD-ROMs or hard drives but uh, usually that's it's it's already most most of the time is already defaulted so uh, you wouldn't have to do too much okay so now your computer is rebooted and uh, once it booted up it gave you the would have given you the option to go into setup so when you go into setup uh, it would look something like this so this is the BIOS setup well, this is a really old computer old specs but uh, and basically the same uh, you do this similar to other computers. Uh, now if you haven't really done anything uh, special to it like uh, overclock the computer or anything it shouldn't uh, require much tuning. Um, uh, sometimes these older computers maybe the boot sequence uh, might be off so you need to go into the boot sequence. So this would be uh, boot device priority 
So here you can choose whether you want the CD-ROM or the hard drive to boot up first, but uh, for newer computers it will be defaulted to the CD-ROM, so uh, I don't think you would really need to do much with the new computers. So most of the time, once you get in here, uh, you could probably just save and exit. And once you've done that, uh, it should boot up uh, as, as normal. Okay, so that's one way to uh, resolve a blank screen issue. Uh, I hope that works for you.